Hey guys, how's it going? Burstfy here, bringing you another video, and today we're playing Trinomy in the top lane for episode 55 of From Burst Fire to Challenge It. Thank you very much for uh, clicking on the video, and uh, let's get right into the action. So, up against Ajax, the first thing you guys will notice is I've taken Teleport this game, not Ignite. Uh, I'm essentially copying actually a build I found on OPGG, uh, which will give me Bork, Static Shiv, and then Infinity Edge. So be ready for that one um still gonna do abilities the same way still gonna play essentially the same way but the idea of the bork uh static shiv is to give you wave clear uh cheaper essentially because it means you're not sitting on that tier mat so it means it's slightly better uh, slightly worse early and slightly scaling uh, slightly better which is the whole point of trinomir uh also the bork will allow you to stick to targets easier and the infinity edge versus the essence retriever means i'll have more bursts but uh a longer e cooldown um, so, we'll see how this works, and, uh, yeah, good luck guys, have fun, and, uh, yeah, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So, up against the Jax, essentially all you do, Jax spots a Z, you E away, that's all you do, that's the, the essence of the lane. Uh, we're still going to be showing for level 2, obviously, uh, you do this on almost every matchup if you can, um, you know, obviously if it's range versus melee, you're not going to do it, whatever, that's fine. Jax is missing, oh, there he is, he's missing mana though, so... Potentially a red buff start, we don't know. Like that. See how we eat through him there and dodge his stun? That's all you gotta do in the matchup. So it looks like Graves did start our red. I think Wukong knows this. Okay. Now we don't know where Graves is right now, but that's fine, because we got that level two. So we can actually just 2v1 right now, even with Graves. But Graves hand towards bot side, that's fine. And we're shoving them in. So, pretty good start for the game. We're actually just going to proxy this wave. Because we uh, saw Graves down there. A little bit. Graves still down there. So we're just chilling. Point on W now. Just going to take this and recall. Excellent. And we got TP so we can get straight back to lane and we're not uh, going to die from the Graves and that's going to be the end of that. So really good job by us. Good awareness. And then we TP back to lane and we're exactly equal except now we have uh, more items. So uh, we'll go refill here. We should have healed more before, re uh, before TPing and to be honest, that was actually a bit of a, I didn't even think about that because I haven't played with TP a lot on trend. But yeah, we should have, we should have, fuck. That was actually so dumb. Why? <laughs> I didn't even, I forgot that I was on like one HP. Oh god, that's actually so bad. That's so bad, that's so bad, that's so bad. No, 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 I fucked lane. Okay, when you TP back, make sure you're not on fucking like 300 HP. Why did I do that? There was no need. I could have just waited four seconds. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. We've already lost our lane. It's been like, it's been four minutes and we've already lost. Oh my god. I'm never getting challenged, you guys. It's just not gonna happen. It's been four minutes and we're already like losing our lane. God damn it. Oh, we're so dumb. We are so bad. Alright, we're going to head down to Scuttle here. We could back for another Longsword, but we're not going to do that. Scuttle taken. Let's have a look for Graves in his own jungle. He's probably doing his walls right now. Huh. Okay. Well, that means Graves is bot side. They should be careful here. Just gonna keep shoving in, like, you know, shoving in Roman. Uh, I think Jax is winning these trades, these short trades.
I think we won that trade actually. We don't want him to jump on us here, so we're just going to spin away and heal. I think we won that trade. At, oh no, we didn't. We didn't because he had a pot. Feels bad. All right, well, we're getting dicked on early, but that's the idea of this uh, this build, right? No ignite, no tier mat. That's all you got to do. Now, when we don't have a re up, that's when he can kill us. So he could have killed us just then, actually, because we walked too far up without a re. But yeah, essentially, he jumps on us, we just spin away. And that's it. Now, he can follow with flash, because we don't have flash. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh, lucky. That was a lucky love lot, because there was no guarantee that my minions would focus that minion and kill it. So that was a very lucky level up, to be honest. I'm just going to recall. There we go. Okay, so he's going to try and dive us, and we're just going to ult. That's all we got to do. Because there's too many minions here, so they can't really gank. That's why getting shoved in, even though people think it's like really good, it's actually not, because you can't fight inside of the minions with the level disadvantage. <sighs> now where is Jax? I'm using my uh, Fury here because I know I'm going to generate a lot from this wave. There we go, now we're almost back to full, and we got a free heal out of it. A free, like, max Fury heal. Mad Max Fury Heal, XD. Uh, so we're just going to recall here. We see Graves bot, so we can actually just take the the Gromp, because we know that Graves hasn't been up. And there's still four bot here, so we can actually just go all the way to his Wolves and take his Wolves and his Gromp. So that's what we're going to do. No crits for some reason. We can't take his... Oh yeah, we can. We got time. And we got TP as well to go back to top. And we don't win the 1v1 with Jax anyway, so not really missing anything by being here. Just warding there because we know that enemy minion wave is here. So that means enemy minion wave is here. So that's why we knew that there'd be nothing there to see the ward when we placed it. Cool. Just queuing before we recall to make sure we get a max uh, heal and therefore the fastest possible uh, rejuvenation into top. And again, the only reason we're losing top is because we TP with low health and then lost the trade and had to flash away. Um, which is, you know, unfortunate. Okay, we have higher health this time. It's pushing towards us, so we want to get up there. Uh, I'm actually just going to go boots pink. I'm going to go boots pink because I'm losing. If I was ahead, I'd just go, like, you know, daggers or whatever, but because I'm losing, I'm going to go boots pink. Ah, uh, okay. Not sure what happened there. Did Jax even E? I don't know. Anyway, we obviously had the item advantage because uh, we just come back from base. We had the Wukong. I don't know. Maybe Jax just made a blunder. Who knows? Throwing down that pink. Now we just recalled and we've only got 600, so no real need to uh, continue the recall here. Ja uh, Graze is top here with red buff, which means his blue buff is up. Whoa, that's pretty ham. Jesus. I was gonna walk it back. I fucked the flash because <laughs> I was I was trying to time the the stuff on the scoreboard. So, oh well. All right. This costs 800, so we're just going to wait for it. Top's gone. Which kind of sucks. I'll go back to top, because I don't trust our bot lane to execute a correct lane swap here. And it might not even be optimal, because um, their tower is still down. 
like, I mean, still up. So we're now actually up uh, against the jacks. We can win a 1v1. All we have to do is just basically not E him and then save the E for his E. Because if he jumps on us and he's dead, he can't escape. Um, yeah. He uses a Z, we just spin away. That's basically how the matchup goes. Cool. <sighs> so we're now just looking for enemies here. Graze is probably on our red. Oh no, he's here. Is very low and he flashed. Graves could be just coming from base here. That's the flash from Jax. Cool. So, yeah, essentially, we got the Graves really low and Graves flashed. Um, TF ulted in, died. That was just his fault. My play was fine. Um, got the Graves flash for free and then, yeah, just got cucked everywhere else. So, that's fine. Graves might be going for red now, so we're going to go have an investigation of that. Ugh. Okay, red's gone. We'll just go back to taking Krugs. Okay, looks like Gray's taking Herald now. There's a lot less wave clear with this build, but I think it's okay. That looks like a play going on down there. So we're winning top still, even with the three kills onto him. Just because of the XP and the similar gold and our uh, better use of, of early items, etc. So it looks like Lux is over here with me. Okay, 
I think she can see me. Cool. Very low here, so we're just gonna walk it out. Cool. Uh, we should have flashed that. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, this is a meme, dude. Okay, Jax's bot here. Everyone's missing, so they're probably coming bot for me. Grazer's top, Jin's mid, so I'm safe ish. Bottom mid just got completely destroyed, and then I went even. Cool. This Lux doesn't even seem that good. I don't know how TF got dicked by her. She's just like so bad. Like, why is she even trying to hit me? I don't know. Oh, bugger. Alright, everyone's missing, so we're just going to be pushing bot here. Okay, Jax is bot, so we're going to move up to Scuttle Crab now. Just FF. I mean, like, if being bad increases your chance of losing, and FF 100% guarantees you lose, then FFing is the worst thing you can do. It doesn't help that I don't really know what my build does, like in terms of fighting and shit. I would have thought I'd win that, but obviously not. That's whatever. Pushed in middle. <sighs> Finally got our first kill on the board. 
They should go Baron here. Go Baron. Might pull them bot. What's he doing? What? What are you doing? Go to Baron Pike XD. Like, what's he doing? Oh my god. He's trolling. He has to be trolling. There's no way he thinks that's good. They're doing dragon. He saw them get the dragon. Baron's up. Baron wins us the game, not bot tower. And he wants to get bot tier one. Ugh. Like, I, I don't get why, why is that even taking place? Like, that's a free Baron, if team went to Baron. Because there's three bot, four bot, five bot. Ugh. It was a free Baron, man. Two days in a row. This is my fifth, third or, no, this is like my fourth, my fourth Trindamir loss in a row on this account. In a row. Four Trindamir losses in a row. One win by Morgana. <sighs> I've won one out of my last five Trindamir games. Like. <sighs> Man. Am I getting unlucky or am I like playing bad? I don't even know. Like, I don't know. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching uh, episode 55 from Burst Fighter Challenger. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. That sucks. Another loss. We're just losing like every game we play on trend. I might have to switch him out next week. Whatever. Anyway, let's have a look at the post game stuff. I want him. I feel like Wukong did okay. Level up to 120. Hit a GG in the chat, and that's gonna be the end of that video, guys. Minus 18, so we've still got relatively high MMR, but we are slipping down the slippery, slippery slope back to gold. Uh, five, where it's where we started at. B minus 22 LP gold three, and that is that. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>